through 12, 1 through 12. Under these circumstances, after so many thousands of people had gathered together, that they were, were stepping on one another, he began saying to his disciples, First of all, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. But there are, is nothing covered up that would not be revealed, and hidden that would not be, not be known. Accordingly, whatever you have said in the dark would be heard in the light, and what you have whispered in the inner rooms would be proclaimed upon the housetops. I say to you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body after you have no more that they, they can do. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear the one who, after he has killed, has authority to cast you in hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not two sparrows sold for, I mean, five sparrows sold for two cents? Yet, not one of them is forgotten before God. Indeed, the very hairs on your head are all numbered. Do not fear. You are more valuable than many sparrows. And I say to you, anyone who confesses me before men, the Son of Man will we confess him before, also before the angels of God. But who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. Anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven him. But he who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven him. When they bring you before synagogues and rulers and authorities, do not worry about how or what you are speaking in your defense or what you are to say for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say God is so good we need to put God first and love our neighbors as ourselves and don't worry what other people want to do to you if you get caught or God is will keep you safe Anything, even if someone would, want, would kill you you be going to the presence of God. Unless you know Jesus Christ is your personal Savior, we, we, we don't go from life to death. We go from death to life. When we cross over the death, we, the doormat, which is death, we go to a brand new life in Christ. It's an awesome life. But if you don't know Jesus Christ, you are dead for all eternity in hell. And um, it's a living death. And it's not a good place to be, guys. We need to put God first. We need to know Jesus Christ as first and Savior. Because you don't want to spend eternity in hell, guys. People, you want a relationship with Jesus Christ and have an eternity with Him. So God is so good. We need to put God first each and every day. And keep praying for our government, our neighbors. Keep helping people. I don't know about you, but I don't have a lot of money. And each day is God's teaching me to trust in Him no matter what. And He will provide. He will take care of me. I am trusting God, not my government. Our government is morally, financially, and spiritually bankrupt. It's just a matter of days before it goes belly up. They are destroying us. Our, our, our so-called elected leaders are destroying us. But God is more powerful than our elected leaders. God will reign forever and ever. So keep trusting our keep praying for our country and our government and our leaders that they become know Jesus Christ as their personal savior and um, repent for all they have done to us world. And God loves us so much. Thank you so much.